Hello everyone, George here, and we're back in my implementation of Five Nights at Freddy's. This is going to be a quick video where we're going to finish up some things from last week. I've been sick for the last few days, so I don't have a whole lot of voice to do this, so we're just going to do some simple things. I've got them kind of put to the side right now. The first thing we're going to deal with is the emission on the tablet, then we're going to go through moving through the camera on the tablet. We're going to talk about lowering the input manager sensitivity, and then finally we're going to add um, a busy bool value on our input manager so that as we're incrementing through the cameras, we don't do that inten um, insanely fast. Let's go ahead and finish some of these things up. So first thing is our tablet. Let's go ahead and zoom into our main room. There's our tablet object right there. Hit F to frame up on it. And now we have the body and the render scene. I'm going to grab the render scene. Now right now we're get grabbing the render texture from the camera and putting that on that particular area. What I also want to do is take that render texture and also put it on the emission part of this. So if you don't already have emission enabled, go ahead and click it right there and make sure you grab the uh, bullseye right there and hit, uh, what was this called? It was a render texture and I think it was tablet. There it is. So now the emission values on this are going to funnel into here, which means that the tablet is going to be brighter. That is, you're going to be able to see it even in darkness on areas that are also bright. This means that darkness will also be dark. So you're not going to just generally illuminate the entire thing and make it look, you know, very bright. It's going to only be bright in areas where you actually have brightness. Okay, so that's one thing crossed off on our list. The next thing we need to do is we want to deal with moving through the camera, um, incrementing through it. So let's see here. What handled that? So we have tablet, we have body. Let's see, what was the actual thing? So coming over here, we have tablet camera manager. Now, what was that attached to? Let's see. Let's type up here, tablet camera manager. There we are. And that's attached to the general camera manager, it looks like. And if we get rid of this, we can see exactly where it goes. And that's just attached to the general camera manager and scene. It's got all the cameras right there, as well as our render texture right there. Okay. So coming over here, where we last left off, let's move this off to the side. We have a few things that are important here. We've got our uh, on button left trackpad pad, on button left trackpad press which grabs the value of our trackpad. We had implemented an increment camera and a decrement camera, but we didn't do anything with that yet. So we need to use that value. Now, something I noticed as I was testing some things out earlier was the fact that we actually kind of screwed up, or I should say I screwed up. That is, if we go under Edit, Project Settings, and Player, and uh, not Player, we want to go under Input, Project Settings, Input, and find Lcon trackpad horizontal and Lcon trackpad vertical, you'll notice that I have a sensitivity of 0.1. The sensitivity is a factor that is basically multiplied by your input value. So if your value is between negative one and positive one and you multiply it by negative, or excuse me, by 0.1, you're basically reducing it by a factor of 10. That is your values are going to be between negative 0.1 and positive 0.1. I don't want this. So I'm actually going to change the sensitivity to be one here. And the same thing over here, I'm going to change the sensitivity to be one over there. Now, we could also do that to right and left at the moment, but I'm not going to because that's technically going to mess up our movement stuff um, because they depend on that value, and I don't feel like changing that at the moment. So I'm just going to do that right there. Now that we have that set up, we can begin checking to see what that value is actually at. So if the value, and I'm going to say if the value is less than, or excuse me, greater than or equal to uh, 0. I don't know, 4 maybe. The idea being that if you've pressed that far over on the controller, you actually mean a press. Then we're going to do an increment camera. Else, else if, you know, something like that. Else if value is less than or equal to zero, negative 0. 0.4. Then we're going to do a decrement, right? A decrement camera. Okay. And else if we need a space in there and we can move that over to there and we're good. So great. So now what's going to happen is we're going to call these two methods, which we created in the last video. The problem though is that inside of these two, we didn't do anything. All we have here is that we set the current camera equal to false and we increment it. What we want to do afterwards is, of course, enable that camera. So let's do cameras, and we'll do current camera dot enabled is equal to true. 
All right. We'll do the same thing for decrement. Great. So now we have that, but the problem is going to be that there's nothing restricting it. We're using on button left trackpad press, not on button down or on button up, which means that this is going to continue to happen over and over and over again. We might want something to reduce the number of times this actually occurs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that we have a, uh, a basically a, a delay value. So we're going to do a float, maybe delay, is equal to, I don't know, um, 0.75F. And then we're gonna do a bool, and let's just say, call this busy, is equal to false. So until we've reached uh, 0 0.75 seconds, we're gonna be busy after we've actually pressed the thing, which means that we have a nice delay between what's happening, so you have time enough to take your finger off the controller and react to what's going on. So moving on, we're gonna go down here, and we need to check to see whether or not we're busy. So we'll do that here, so if, not busy. There we are. That happens. So if this occurs, if we've incremented the camera, we do want to be busy. So busy is equal to true. And the same thing with decrementing the camera. Busy is equal to true. Now the only time busy does not uh, become true is during an update cycle. So if we are busy, we're going to want to do uh, a, a wait, basically. So if busy happens, we're going to continue to increment some sort of a counter that we have. So let's do a float, whoops. Float, uh, current time is equal to 0 0.0F, and we're gonna wait for that to equal 0 0.75. So if busy, current counter plus equals time dot delta time. So that's going to continue to increment over time, and then we wanna do a check so that if current time, whoops, current time is equal to, or is greater than or equal to, uh, what was that again? We, we called that uh, delay, delay, then busy is equal to false, and current time is equal, excuse me, not current time, busy, yeah, busy is equal to false, and current time is equal to 0, 0.0F, great. So that should be good enough for us to set everything up. Let's go ahead, run into the game, and hit run. Grab my controller and my headset, turn them on, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's back out of here a little bit. So let's see, where's my, there it is. So there we have the other hand, we can see everything going on. And even though I'm pressing as much as I possibly can, I'm not actually moving through it any faster than the rate that we set, which is 0 0.75 seconds. So this is probably a little bit slow because I kind of want it to move a little bit faster. So I'm probably gonna change that to maybe 0 0.25 or maybe 0 0.35. It's up to you to choose whatever rate makes the most sense, but we can see that we can clearly move between the different cameras at this point, and we can see what's going on in the different parts of the scene. Anyway, very, very quick video. Um, before I end, I am going to increment that time a bit, or decrement that. So delay is uh, 7.5. Let's make this, I don't know, 4.5. That should feel a lot better. We'll turn this off. Anyway, that's it for this video. Quick, to the point, and that's what I'm going to try to make all these videos from here on out. The idea is for us to get done with this project and move on to some other stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. So long and goodbye.